NATO countries in Europe are in a helpless position in the face of a possible attack by Russia. NATO countries in Europe are reportedly facing a shortage of military personnel and would have difficulty mobilizing a significant number of troops in case of a conflict, the Financial Times reported. According to the outlet's analysts, Western European members of the US-led military bloc are said to have 1.9 million troops on paper. In reality, however, they would face challenges deploying more than 300,000 people and even this would require months of preparation. Former NATO Assistant Secretary General Camilla Grand explained that the bloc's members have never had to consider mass deployment of their forces and that European defense planning has for many years been limited to matters such as supplying 300 special forces for Afghanistan. That's created gaps, Grand said, adding that the bloc has seen a shrinking in forces all over the continent year after year. Ben Barry, a senior fellow at the International Institute for Strategic Studies, also told the Financial Times that NATO's European members have focused on increasing military budgets but have neglected conscripting more people. According to Barry, European NATO states have now reached a tipping point of critical mass and have entered a vicious circle in which personnel shortages limit their military capabilities and make it difficult to train new recruits, frustrating existing servicemen and forcing them to leave the army. In order to address the problem, experts told the Financial Times that Western European nations would have to resolve several issues such as competitive pay for servicemen and attractive benefits while employing various methods to attract more recruits. NATO states would also have to address the issue of living conditions for their personnel as barracks in countries such as Germany and the UK are reported to be in a state of dilapidation and are plagued with mould pest infestations and other issues. Another pressing factor, according to the report, is the issue of patriotism among NATO servicemen. The Financial Times noted that while in countries such as Poland and the Baltic states, the perceived threat of Russian aggression has spurred recruitment, these fears are not shared in places such as Germany and the UK. Russia has repeatedly stressed that it has no intention of attacking any NATO members. However, Russian President Vladimir Putin has cautioned the West against escalating tensions in Ukraine and attempting to inflict a strategic defeat on Moscow, warning that this could pose a threat to the Russian state and trigger its nuclear doctrine. A wildfire that started in the U.S. state of Oregon on Tuesday burned around 1,700 acres of land, leaving thousands of people without electricity and prompting evacuations. The cause of the fire is being investigated. Dubbed the Darlene 3 fire, the wildfire spread quickly on the outskirts of Lapine in Deschutes County. The fire had covered three to five acres when firelighters were dispatched to the scene of blaze at around 12.45 p.m. local time. However, an hour later, it covered 1,700 acres by Tuesday night, according to Central Oregon Interagency Dispatch. The U.S. Forest Service shut down and evacuated nearby campgrounds and trails in Deschutes National Forest and the shelter for evacuees was set up at a high school in Lapine a rural city about 30 miles southwest of Bend. Animals were also sheltered at the Lupine Rodeo Grounds. The fire also caused massive power cuts in the city of around 2,500 residents. More than 2,000 residents were left without power, as Midstate Electric Cooperative, an electric utility company, told some customers it would most likely enact a public safety shutoff in the area as a result of the fires. Amid the wildfire, Oregon Governor Tina Kotek invoked Oregon's Emergency Conflagration Act, a law that allows the state fire marshal to invoke the full power of the Oregon Fire Service to protect life and property.